super super cheesy i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i didn't mean to be so cheesy hopefully i have to add it now okay <sighs> that that korean drama just like it stresses me out it hurts my heart too much it traumatizes you emotionally i'm not even joking i literally go in the dark but you can't really buy style you can only buy the brands <laughs> Hi everyone, I am back with a new video. Hey. Hey, and as you can see, I'm not in my room, I'm actually in my brother's room because it's filled with a lot of BTS videos. Videos? BTS posters. Today I am filming a QA, which I asked a lot of you guys if you guys want me to do it, and y'all voted and said yes. So now I'm going to be doing a bunch of questions which you guys asked on the question thing on Instagram. Some of the questions I'll be asking with Clay because there are a bunch of relationship questions. So we'll be filming a video on that sometime soon. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get to it. So the first question is by Sarum Sigador. Joy, I know it's you. Um, she asks what irritates you the most teehee <laughs> what irritates me the most is when people talk crap about my family the ones i love my friends um, my boyfriend you know those types of things like really really irritates me i know you shouldn't really care about what other people say but for me personally i just want to protect my loved ones at all times so if anyone ever talks about them then best believe I will not be coming for you but I just love I just want to protect the people I love the most so that's what irritates me the most yes next question what is advice on starting to vlog so sorry I'm with vlogging okay I actually already started vlogging way before me and Clay actually um met and before we got together but the reason why i started to vlog was because i wanted to create a lot of memories and even if no one watched them i just wanted to create memories with my friends and just so that i have kind of mm, a video diary so a vlog is basically a video diary for me anyways it's a video diary and it's just so i have them somewhere and so my friends can watch them as well whenever they want and I just got into it, like even more into it when I was dating Clay because we're as you guys know we're a long distance relationship. Before I used to live in Scotland and he was like in London, it was just it was just too far and we hardly saw each other. So we wanted to really, really vlog our memories because we didn't really see each other as much as we saw each other like once every two or three months. And every time we saw each other, it was very special. So we wanted to just document it for ourselves. And we actually had no clue, guys. We had no idea that people would actually start to like them. And people would watch them. It was very, very unexpected. So we're really thankful that you guys really love our vlogs. And we shall continue to do them. As now I have spare time so I can edit and the vlogs. Next question when are you coming to chicago 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 had whatever you say it um girl i wish i could go right now because i want to be out of here in england because england's kind of depressing me right now even though it's really hot but i just want to be somewhere not in england but hopefully i'll be hopefully going there in the next couple of years and i'll with clay <sighs> fingers crossed I was about to do this, fingers crossed. How do you? Oh, fingers crossed. Next question. What is your favorite quote? It's a, it's a cheesy one. And obviously it's going to be about love. I have a lot of favorite quotes, but this one really stuck by me. And I, I love my friends and family and yeah, have heard me say this about Clay so many times. But it's, home is not where you're from, it is where you belong. Some of us travel the world to find it, others find it in a person. But I changed it a bit when Clay's there. Some of us travel the whole world to find it, but I found it in you. I know it's cheesy. 
super super cheesy i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i didn't mean to be so cheesy next question how do you style your short hair for parties and other big events girl i can't i don't know i literally don't style my hair it's literally just this because it's very hard hard to style short hair so it's just been like this for the longest time and it's already growing so quickly so um the problem with the short hair is I don't really know how to style it. I just love having short hair and just styling it the same way. I know, I'm boring. But when, usually when my hair reaches this length, I'll probably make a video on how I style it. Just because this style, this length is really short and it's really hard to style. I don't style it. Sorry. Next question is where are you from? I'm currently living in Wolverhampton, England. And I'm originally, I lived in Scotland, in Glasgow for 14 years, I think. Um, and I'm originally from Philippines, in Manila. But I was born in Saudi Arabia. I've been to a lot of places, I guess, I guess. <laughs> Next question is a really sensitive question for me. Why didn't you study medicine directly? A lot of people ask me these questions and till now I don't think I'm, I don't really know if I'm still going to study medicine or not because yeah. okay. The reason why I didn't study medicine directly is because I just didn't have the grades At first, okay, when I was in the fifth year of high school, I don't really know what people in England, what year it is in England It was first year of A levels um, I was set to basically do five subjects and I was that five A's type of girl. I was I was that girl back then. But then I got sick and I was hospitalized for months and I couldn't attend any of the classes so I couldn't really study and I couldn't do some of my exams. So that's the reason why I didn't get into medicine because I literally couldn't even I was in I was in school half of the year most of the time i was in and out of hospital for like three months and then i was in and out again and it's just it was a mess so that's the reason why i couldn't study medicine next question is do you work girl i used to work in adidas rep repping adidas i got this from work um but i had to quit my job because i was in my final year of uni and i had to just cut it. it was getting too it was getting too much for me so i couldn't even handle both i don't know how people handle both but i guess i just couldn't handle it and especially when you're doing my course oh it's just it was too much for me my me for my brain to handle that's the reason why i don't work sorry oh but 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 i'm currently looking and applying for jobs because i'm finished uni i think if I don't, yeah, I finish uni, so hopefully I have to add out now, okay? <sighs> what do you do for a living? I don't do anything for a living. I live with my parents because I'm still, I just finished university and I'm still thinking if I want to study more or if I want to go straight into a biomedical job into a laboratory job because I'm still unsure of what I want to do in life because life right now is very confusing at this age and I feel that pressure of having everything figured out is really really just is too much for me because I, I genuinely can't figure anything out in my life the next question is what's your favorite Korean drama? I, 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 there's just there's just too many so i have a few so of i don't they're not in order because i love all of them equally so the hairs airs airs was probably one of my first korean dramas that i fell in love with lee min ho is still one of my favorite actors till now i think i've watched every single one of his korean dramas so there's doctors which i will always 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 love Park Shin Hai is always is probably one of my favorite actresses as well. She's just so versatile and just amazing. Um, and I do love um, Legend of the Blue Sea. Oh, this is so hard. 
Of course, Boys Over Flowers, it will always be a classic, but that, 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 that Korean drama just like stresses me out. It hurts my heart too much. Um, so those are my top, okay, top two is definitely the hairs and doctors. Oh, the third spot, there's just so many of them. It's just like, I can't really like think of, there's just too many. There's Legend of Lucy, Goblin, of course, a timeless 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 drama that it traumatizes you emotionally so uh, i'm currently watching um what's wrong with secretary kim and actually i think it's gonna be one of it's gonna be up there for me on my list because it's such a good drama like i laugh so loud watching it because it's just it's perfect for people my age especially i don't know why i just find it so amazing it's just so relatable i guess but I actually laugh so much just watching it because it's so good. Um, another question is, how do you stay positive? Okay, if you guys really know me, you'll know that I'm really not that positive. I just try to be positive as much as I can, but realistically, I'm not that positive. Well, um, probably only Clay really knows this is because life, I'm a very, um, I'm not a narcissist. Uh, realist i'm very realistic so um i'm not that positive because i do think of life i do take on life more realistically because i do believe you should take life on like that clay is an optimistic guy so we balance each other out a lot but the only way i stay positive is because of him because he keeps me very positive when i am negative in life I just like to take things on as if like I try to think of like the worst case scenario so I'm ready for it um, which then gives me makes me more anxious which is what, because my anxiety is just it's crazy I don't know how he handles it honestly honestly next question my favorite highlighters okay I have a lot of favorite highlighters Becca Cosmetics is the best highlighter. You will literally be glowing for days. Every, you, do you know, I actually glowed in the dark. I'm not even joking. I literally glowed in the dark. That's how intense their highlighters are. But their highlighters are not glittery. Because um, I know the Fenty Beauty one is quite glittery. Which is why I'm not really... A, it shows more glitter than actual like glow. This one, Becca Cosmetics and Laura Geller, like really like make you glow. It's like a glow from within. So that's why I really love it because you don't it doesn't seem like block blocky on your face. I don't like too much glitter on my face I'm not a fan of, so I just choose for like the proper glow. Becca Cosmetics, oh Becca Cosmetics, I do use their um the opal shade so i use the liquid one and also the pressed one because i like to really be extra with my glow so i use the liquid one first and then i apply the pressed one afterwards because why not, why not? so the next question is will you go to barcelona i've always wanted to go to barcelona but if anyone can ever fund me please because i'm broke um jobless because i'm still, still thinking about my life but if you guys want to fund me, please go ahead. Next question is, not a question, oh, but I just want to say that you're really pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you. so random, but thank you. Another question is, do you consider yourself a hype beast? Oh, no, not at all. I literally have like one thing, which is my supreme bag. That's it. Personally, I do think hype beasts are so overrated. I might get a lot of hate from this, but I feel like being a hype peep <sighs> people who are hype beasts. Um, I think that they buy all the latest brands, but they don't actually know how to dress um, themselves. They literally stack on brands after brands after brands after brands, but they don't realize that those br those pieces of clothing don't match their outfit it literally uh, i know there's a lot of short asians asian guys they have their joggers on it and they like wear they have like their nike joggers then they put their socks all over it and 
it just doesn't look good because they're already short why make yourself look shorter and then they wear like a long baggy top and they literally look like an oompa loompa someone please explain because the thing is like they think that a lot of people think that just because you're wearing so many brands all at once they think that they look good like uh for other high pieces they might look good for but for people who just have who just know that they don't look good they just don't look good like props to you if you can afford all of that but you can't really buy style you can only buy the brands I'm sorry, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate on this, but that's just my honest opinion on hype beasts. I literally don't have one thing and I don't plan on collecting so many tons of hype beast stuff, but if you do have all of those that's great for being that's great. But just know how to style them, I guess. <laughs> so that's all the questions done and I know the last question was kind of like uh but i hope you guys don't hate me for my opinion on the hype beasts but that's just that's just my personal opinion and i have a lot of friends who consider themselves hype beasts but i tell them all the time like they actually know how to dress they literally they know how to dress so they have all the brands but they know how to dress it's just those who have all the brands but don't know how to wear them is kind of like the issue for me it's not an issue but just my personal opinion <laughs> hope you guys don't come at me for that like i'll be like dodging all them here is like <laughs> thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you want more please leave a comment down below or message me on instagram or if you guys want me to do another question poll thing on instagram please go ahead and ask me um or if you guys want them anonymously i could also do that so whatever you guys want just feel free to message me and do some suggestions because I really love doing these types of videos for you guys and I really do hope that you do enjoy them and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye! This is probably one of my favorite songs right now, I'm listening to. Type I'm gonna be doing the um, baseline challenge for my J Hope. For my dear J Hope. I'm just joking, guys. I'm not gonna do that. Bye. Peace out.